So now to help you really define success for yourself, you got to take those lists of things that you're saying like, yes, I know these are success. You got to compare it against some case studies. So you're going to hear about some uh, real life success stories or possible success stories. You're going to read about them um, and then you're going to make some decisions. So for example, right now you're going to have about five minutes. You're going to read the first uh, success case study and then you can decide on your own if you think it is that case study is about somebody that's successful or not and then with your family group you're going to debate a little bit see what other people think share your difference in opinions and then change your list to uh, reflect kind of what you're all thinking about um, success means so for example if I read about some guy who you know he invented a certain kind of car and he was really powerful and famous and you know sold these cars all over the place and got rich but then he died at like 25 from a drug overdose right overall I'm gonna be like I yeah I don't actually think that guy is successful um, I thought success was about you know inventing something big or having people know your name or something like that but actually um, dying early and young and not having a real life like actually that means more to me so I'm gonna change how I define uh, success based on that right you all might not you might disagree with me that's fine but that's the point of this to really think about it think it through have a little bit of debate and um, change what you think are traits of a successful person based on those debates so you're gonna do that with three case studies now so go ahead um, and then we'll see what success means to you at the end of it all.